Beautiful conditions in Spa with not a hint of a cloud in the sky as we get ready for the opening race of the FIA World Endurance Championship Super Season. After the group presentations in beautiful sunshine here at the majestic seven kilometer, four mile Spa Francorchamps, one of the world's greatest circuits. Green flag dropped in from the sky in spectacular fashion for a massive crowd packing every inch of the seven kilometer majestic circuit number eight toyota on pole position number seven car starting after a technical infringement that was down to some misaligned paperwork from the pit lane a lap behind pressure from the lmp1 field on the number one hybrid toyota as the two rebellion cars from second and third on the grid Ford out wide, 67, Harry Tingnell, and the LMP2 leader got nerfed off as well. First time up at Lecom, contact in the AM class, a three-way Ferrari battle, cost a Porsche that wasn't involved several laps. The Gulf Porsche avoiding contact into the barriers, and that brought out the safety car. After one lap of safety car, the Toyota was ready to head off and its sister car number seven was able to join the back of the safety car queue from the pit lane. Racing got back underway in the LMP2 class. Roman Rusinov in the orange G-Drive car had jumped into the lead at the start ahead of pole sitter Nika Lapierre, but Gerda van der Garde in the yellow racing team Netherlands machine got by him. Epic battle in GTE Am. The 77 Porsche of Christian Reed had led for the first half hour until traffic detained him. And then Paul Dallalana in the Aston managed to run around the outside on the fastest, most demanding corner on the circuit and into the Am class lead. And then this, Harry Tinknell's high-speed incident at Eau Rouge. The car going straight on. 91 Porsche ran over some debris. That continues, it seems, with no subsequent damage. But a second and longer safety car. The very good news, Harry Tinknell was OK. The bad news for Racing Team Netherlands, an alternator failure on their car cost them a chance of LMP2 victory. At the restart, Fernando Alonso in Toyota number eight, holding off his teammate, Kamui Kobayashi, who was trying to unlap himself. Fernando was not interested in being a gentleman. Didn't want to give away a lap advantage over his real rival. And then in the space of a lap, drama for Dempsey Proton. 77 broke down and was pushed into the garage. 88 backed off into the gravel. LMP2 was being led by this stage by the G-Drive car with Jackie Chan racing second and third. GTE Pro, Ferrari starting to come good as they worked on a car that didn't work in qualifying, moving up into third and fourth. In LMP2, the 37 Jackie Chan DC racing car and the 36 Senior Tech Alpine are making its recovery, battling for second place. Porsche versus Ferrari for the lead of the race, Ford versus Porsche. As well, the battles continue to rage in the GTE Pro class with five different manufacturers in the hunt. Only one Ford in the game, but still with a podium shot. Issues for Rebellion, the number one car, particularly their data transmitter system not working. Matavos Isakian for SMP Racing, getting himself into a podium position. Then trouble for the 51 Ferrari, as Sandra Pierre Guidi released into the path of an incoming Porsche. Lots of damage and a big delay. Ballsy battle under brakes for Julian Landauer in the Dempsey Proton Porsche to move himself within one spot of the podium, going by Olivier Beretta in the MR Racing Ferrari. And then this moment when Matavos Isakian got held up by a GT Porsche and blown by by Thomas Laurent for the podium. Rebellion moving up into the top three. And then a couple of laps later, Isakian was in the news again. The third safety car, this time from Monster Shunt for the Russian in the SMP Racing Dallara prototype at Redion. He also walked away unscathed. And then maybe the move of the race. Ford versus Porsche for a spot at the top of the podium in the GTE Pro class. Wheel to wheel in Eau Rouge, thank you so much. Porsche's then swapping position in the last hour in the GTE Pro class. And the final ignominy for Richard Leitz, who'd started his last stints in the lead, but had no tyres left to fight. 
Davide Rigon jumped him on the final lap. Last lap sought out never came for TF Sport. They chased the 98 Aston Martin to the AM Class 1-2 for Aston. Ford won in GTE Pro. G-Drive ran away with LMP2. And the number eight Toyota, Fernando Alonso, winning on his debut. His first win at Spa-Francorchamps since he was in Formula 3000. It was a Toyota 1-2 to start the super season with a total six hours of Spa-Francorchamps. They go in the Belgian colours in the confetti at the end of a first visit to Spa-Francorchamps in this super season. And after this race, I don't think it'll be any disappointment for the fans, the teams or the drivers to know that they're coming back here again before Le Mans 2019.